Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making Cantonese egg tarts. These are super easy to make, flavorful, creamy, flaky, and are a Chinese dim sum favorite. I highly recommend that you make these for Chinese New Year next week. If you've not done so yet, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and turn on the bell notifications. By doing that, you will get notified every time I post a new video. I will be putting the recipe in the description box below so you guys can make these too. Now, let's get on to making Cantonese egg custard tarts. We're going to start off by preheating our oven to 355 degrees. Before we start making our crust, I'm going to get our egg ready. So here I just have one egg. We're going to crack it into a little bowl. Take a fork, whisk it. The reason why we are doing this before we start our dough is because we actually need half of a beaten egg. Half of a beaten egg is equal to two tablespoons, so we will be using this later. In a bigger bowl, I have my cake flour, and I am going to take my powdered sugar and add this to here. And we're gonna give it a good mix. Once we have our cake flour and our powdered sugar all combined, we're going to get our cubed butter. Now I recommend your butter being nice and cold so that way once we incorporate it into our flour, it's going to give our egg tarts a really nice and flaky crust. Take our butter and add it into the flour. You're gonna go in your, with your hands and start mixing the two together. As I'm incorporating the butter into the flour, I'm taking my hands and kind of using my fingers to break down the butter and really incorporate it into the flour. So our butter and our flour are all combined together and you should have a very crumbly and dry kind of sand-like texture. It's looking like this. And here we have our butter and our flour and we're going to take our beaten egg mixture that we pre-mixed earlier and add in two tablespoons we're going to do is just mix this up with our hands. If your mixture is feeling a bit dry, you can always add some more egg, which is what I'm going to do right now. So our mixture is all combined together. I'm going to take this and pour it onto the table and just give it another quick mix. Okay, so we have our dough right here. And now what we are going to do is take some plastic wrap or saran wrap, put this on, wrap it up nice and tightly. And we're going to let this, put this in the refrigerator for about half an hour. While our dough is chilling in the fridge, we are now going to make our egg custard. In a small bowl, I have my sugar and in my liquid measuring cup, I have some hot water. Now you want hot water so that way our sugar will dissolve faster. So we're gonna pour the two in together and then we're just going to take our spoon and mix it. Our sugar should be nice and dissolved. And next, I'm going to take our milk and pour this in. You can use whatever kind of milk you want. You can use, I'm using 1% milk, um, but you can definitely use whole milk to make it a lot richer and creamier. 
And then what I like to do is take my two eggs, crack it into the bowl. And then I'm gonna take my fork and just whisk the two together. You wanna combine these really well, making sure that the egg whites are really combining with the egg yolks, so that way it doesn't like have a weird separation. So by mixing it like this, our goal is not to incorporate air into it, although we are, it's really just to combine the egg yolks and the egg whites really nicely together. And once we've done that, we're going to take our milk and simple syrup mixture and we're going to pour our egg into here and just give it a nice quick mix. And right here is our egg custard mixture. Once we are finished with our mixture, I like to take a sieve and pour our mixture in through the sieve into a measuring cup. Now we are going to take our egg custard and cover it in saran wrap. Now just like when we made pastry cream, we want to cover the saran wrap and have it touch the actual egg custard so that way it doesn't have a film while it's cooling down in the refrigerator. We are going to put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Now we are going to start forming our egg tarts. So I just have a little thing of cake flour right here. We're going to take our chilled dough, open it up, and I like to roll these out in two sections. It's just a little easier for me. We are going to take some cake flour, sprinkle some on. We don't want too much. We don't want to bite into a nice, luscious egg tart with a side of flour. And I'm also going to fire my rolling pin. We're just gonna roll this out. So once we have rolled out our dough to about a little thinner than a quarter of an inch, I like to take this glass because it's the perfect size for our shells and we're just going to cut these out. So I got these little tin shells off of Amazon and I'll leave a link in the description box below if you wanna get these as well. They're super cute, they're really small, they're the perfect size. And what I like to do is just take my little cut out circles of crust and you can make this thinner or thicker to your liking depending on how much crust you like. And you're just going to place it on top of our tin and then using your thumbs you're going to press down like so you're going to gently press on the sides and the bottom of the shell so that way we have a really nice distributed even layer of crust and then my favorite part going to take your thumb and your pointer finger and just kind of pinch the side of the dough so it kind of forms like a rim on top you don't have to do this step i just this is my favorite part and then you will get a nice, pretty top like that. So now we're just going to repeat that to all of our crusts until we have no more dough left.
Now that we have finished all of our crusts, we are going to put these in the freezer for about 10 minutes before we bake them in the oven. So our last step before we pop these into the oven is to take all of our tart shells and place them onto this baking sheet. And then we are going to take our egg custard and just pour these onto the shells. I like to fill them up to where there's about a quarter of an inch left of the dough left. We are now going to place our egg custard tarts into the 355 degree oven. and let them bake for around 15 to 20 minutes. Our egg tarts are all ready to come out of the oven. And this is what they look like. Here are what the finished egg tarts look like. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you've not done so yet, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and turn on the bell notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.